Hello and welcome back to the Reapers and today we're in our A10C and we're looking at direction finding. So navigation in the A10C, the primary mode is INS, an INS inertial navigation system. So this is waypoints, attack waypoints, speed, stuff like that. Um, then the secondary is TACAN, tactical air navigation. Uh, this is used for locating air bases, uh, generally aircraft carriers, air to air refuelers. Uh, the third is ILS, which is a system for landing on airfields, and the fourth system is direction finding, or ADF, automatic direction finding. This basically uses the radios in the aircraft to listen to transmissions, and it can home in on those radio transmissions. Now, first of all, let's talk about what we cannot home into. We cannot home into the kilohertz range NDB, so... On lots of the maps, and especially the Caucasus, there are non-directional beacons. These are used for navigation for ADF. Uh, the A10 cannot tune into these because these are in the kilohertz range, and the A10 works in the megahertz range. Now, there are VOR stations in Persian Gulf and probably the uh, American map, which work in the megahertz range here, but as far as I'm aware, the A10 can't home into those because the A10 doesn't have VHF AM homing ability now I'm not sure whether that's accurate portrayal or if it's just not implemented yet probably it just doesn't it just doesn't have that in the real A10C as far as I'm aware so that's what it can't home into what it can home into is transmissions on the VHF band on the FM modulation so we've got a little tank here we've got an Abrams and he is transmitting on he's in the VHF band on the 30 31 megahertz and he's in the modulation of FM a power of 50 watts so that is someone we should be able to home into Next, we've got another dude over here, another Abrams. He's transmitting on 255, that's in the UHF frequency, and we've got him in FM modulation. Again, we should be able to home in on him. So let's save up and jump in the aircraft. Okay, we're in the aircraft, and here are the three radios. VHF AM, UHF AM and FM, and VHF FM. Now, I've done a proper radio tutorial, so I'm not going to go through all of the radios here. I just will get on with it and use them. Uh, here we've got the HSI where the information is going to be displayed to us and we, here we've got the homing lights, the UHF homing light there and the FM homing light there. So first of all, let's go and home in to our UHF FM signal. So we want, uh, it was on, the guy was transmitting on 255 FM, so let's get that done. So we're on 25 and we need this digit up to 5. And master mode, we want to ADF, automatic direction finding. Okay, give that a few seconds to start working and we want to be on manual here. And next if we look here we can see that our UHF homing light is on. So it's picking up a signal now uh, for the UHF homing, for the ADF. And it's now it's transferred onto needle 1 here on the HSI. So needle 1 is telling us to turn to about 180. So we're going to turn left and home into that signal. Now important things to note at this point, ADF uh, cannot get the range of the of the source it can only give you the direction the reason for that is that this is a passive system only it listens to the radio source it does not handshake with the radio source and it cannot get the range so the only way we can tell when we it regards range is when we are over the top of the target and the reason is because rather than the needle being the 12 o'clock position it will suddenly switch around to the six o'clock position position as you pass over the radio source so let's get power on and go and find this guy as far as I'm aware, it's not displayed up here on the TAD or on the, uh, you know, on the MFD HSI. It's only going to be on the analog system here. Okay, we've just about got him our 12 o'clock here. So just a reminder, we're looking at needle one here on the HSI. Right, let's speed it up. It's going to be a good 10 miles away, I think. Try and keep that on the 12 o'clock. Whoops, silly. Pull up, pull up. Try that again. Needle's starting to move a bit, which uh, means we're probably getting quite close. Altitude, altitude. So we've still got him on the 12 o'clock. Let's have a little look. And there he is. So that homed in directly to that radio source from this guy here on 255 UHF altitude, FM. Altitude. Yes, I know, lady. Uh, now, as soon as we go over, over him, watch what happens to the needle one. We swings around. So that's that. That shows how we can home into a unit or anything, a beacon or anything that's transmitting on the UHF FM. 
Uh, UHF AM does not appear to work. I've tried it and it does not work. VHF, this radio set, VHF AM also does not appear to work. And there's no homing light for it here anyway. So um, I don't think it's even supposed to work. Next, we've got VHF FM here, which is supposed to work. So we're going to tune, let me just get myself a level and then we're going to tune that in. So remember, we've got another tank over there somewhere that's transmitting on 31 megahertz FM. So first of all, I'm going to turn my UHF off so it doesn't get confused. I'm going to... There, I've tuned into 31 megahertz on the FM. And that sound you can hear is actually a wave file being transmitted from that uh, tank over there. So we can tell that we're on the correct... Uh, tune into the regret channel. Next, we're going to go to direction finding here. Direction finding. And just pause that there. And we can see we've got the FM homing light on. So we've, we've successfully tracked onto that station. And we should be able to home into him now. However, the problem is the needle doesn't move at this point. I've tried several tests and it just doesn't work. So it, it, it confirms that we've got the signal here. It confirms that we're homing. We can hear that we're on the right channel. However, the HSI needle doesn't work. I've read on, on some forums on the internet and it appears to be a bug at the moment. And it should be fixed. Uh, so I can't go any further with showing that. Other than to say these are the two methods that we get to work. UHF FM and VHF FM. Um, and that should hopefully be working soon. Uh, nothing else to add. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.